guys, this is a little bit of a different video. I guess you guys can see a little view of um, the bottles. I need to be cleaning them today, so we're going to start by cleaning them. Um, this might be a little bit of a different video. I normally don't do these kind of videos, like cleaning up, but sometimes I do do them, like, unoccasionally, so... Um, yeah, this is just one of those videos where we're going to be cleaning these bottles out. Um, some of them are, like, from videos, and I don't know where the other ones are from. So, let's just get on to this. So, the first bottle that we're going to be cleaning is this little penguin sippy cup. I think it's really cute, and you might have seen the video, um um with my that where I was talking about my new reborn baby and um uh I'm thinking I'm gonna use this little um sippy cup for her. I have like two bottles for her. We're gonna get a few more bottles today I believe. Like I have this bottle for her that I'm gonna do use. This is like Tommy Tippy. Um, so I'm going to use this bottle for her, and I'm going to use this little penguin bottle for her. So these two smaller um, sippy cups, and then for Julia, both of them can share these little ones. But she's going to be the one who's going to use the small ones, because Julia can't, um, I mean, she can't use the big long ones, and these are Christopher bottles. And, um, the Dr. Browns, she can share with her brother. And she can definitely use this bottle. <laughs> this one's small. And Christo and the new little baby is going to be smaller than Christopher. So she'll probably use this bottle. And then the two other little sippy cup thingy. The sippy cups, not really sippy cups, but, like, small sippy cups. I'm going to clean these out now. So I might not be talking too much. Um, so yeah. Great tip, by the way, is, um, you can... If there's any extra dirt on the bottom and you can't reach it, shake the bottle and it will, um, all the dirt will come off mostly. Quick disclaimer, I normally would use um, regular soap, but for right now I only have a soap bar. Like a 
I was using it for a video. It was the video of um, how to make milk another way, like with one ingredient. So that was pretty cool. And then one ingredient with baby powder and water, which you can obviously find at your house, unless you don't use water. But everyone uses water, so um, yeah. So I have this little mat on the floor right here don't mind the christmas um this is just any map i and i don't really mind getting this mat like dirty if it really does get dirty normally it doesn't really get dirty but if anything's like leaking or something it just goes on the mat okay and this is how i dry so it's very simple actually to dry this um i'm gonna actually take the nipple out so I'm just being struggling, struggling with me. Sorry, guys. Here, I'm going to put you this way. Maybe I'll get bigger angles. So I took this out. Um, the nipple's all clean. And I put them separately. And then put that like that. So one bottle's done. A few more to go. This is what it looks like so far. This might be a little bit of a long video. <sighs> so, yeah. We're going to move on to this bottle. The Dr. Brown bottle. So this is just a simple Dr. Brown. Oh, forgot to put the little lid down. Okay. Okay, let's take the nipple out. I was using this bottle for a film, filming video for the milk video um, that I was just talking about with the baby powder. Um, so I used this bottle to test it. So we have those. Okay. I don't want to lose any parts. Just take this off always. Make sure there's no gross stuff, no mold, and then clean it out. And then if there is any like dirt or anything gross, I use a toothpick to get it out. Or if there's any food stuck there and I just can't get it out, then I use a small toothpick. Okay. The big challenge is the bottle. But I think it will be pretty easy to get this out because it's just 
nothing very hard. It's just baby powder. It smells so good. It smells like lavender. It's almost overpowering though. And don't drink out of these bottles. If you made like fake milk or something. Or honestly, just don't drink out of these bottles. These are baby bottles, guys. Um, so, yeah. Unless you really have to drink out of these bottles. Unless you have cancer or something. So, I'm not judging. I'm just, uh, so, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's put this out. So, I'm going to lay this like this. Flat like that. Put the bottle like that. Bottles on this side, nipples, and things on that side. Okay. And I let these two pieces dry separately. Um, just because... Um... um I just want everything to dry, and it dries a lot faster, trust me. Even though there's more things to dry, it just dries a lot faster if they're not stuck together. And I like my bottles to dry pretty fast, as fast as possible. Oops, we forgot. Put the lid out and rinse it a little bit. Here we go. Rinse to the lid. There we go. And I put that down. And it looks like this so far. I'm kind of organizing it. Like bottles are on that side. Lids and nipples are on that side. And caps are with the bottles. I don't know. So sometimes I have a particular order. Sometimes I don't. I love this bottle. I only have one of these Avent bottles. I always, um, There's three packs at the store. But I got just one of them. Because the three packs were pretty expensive. Um, but I think it's a good deal to get three of these. And for the new baby, it'll just be a lot easier. Because we won't have to get too many other bottles if we get three packs. That's why I like three packs. <laughs> okay, we got the nipple. I'm going to take the nipple out so we can rinse it a little bit more thoroughly. I didn't do that on the first um, one. First bottle, though. Make sure it's all clean. Make sure there's nothing gross coming out of it. So I like to put a little bit of water like that. And just squeeze the nipple. Make sure. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to get some sealant. Because um, in the video, the sealing with the um, little toothpick thingy didn't work. So, I'm going to have to get some silicone sealant. And I think that'll work better for the thing. If you have a little bit of water on there and some things are stuck to the edges, shake it out. Okay, here we go. That bottle's done. I'm going to put it on the drying rack thingy. Okay. Here we go. Here So guys, um, everything's all organized, just how I like it, um, it's all laid out on the mat very nicely, and, um, yeah, it was fun doing this video, even though I don't really normally do this video a lot, um, these kind of videos. That's what I mean. And they're already starting to dry really well. 
Um, they still look a little wet, but of course, I just give them a night or two, sometimes two nights, sometimes one night. I normally, oops, guys, oh my gosh, he dropped. Oh, oops, that probably wasn't that fun. Um, so, yeah, I like, it normally takes like two days for the bottles to finally get very good and how they want to go. Um, sometimes it only takes one day, it just depends how big, small the bottle is, and it also definitely really helps if you take the bottle apart. So, um, yeah, but not like literally take it apart, you know what I mean? Like, take the lid off and the, um, nipple out. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a leaf stuck in my hair. I don't know why. I wasn't outside too much today. Um. So. Yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. And. Um. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And. Subscribe. Thanks. Bye.